Hello, uh, my name is Eung Oh, working uh, for CRISO. Um, today, uh, topic is my pre presentation about uh, standard development on Aton data exchange. I'm uh, present about um, uh, marine data digital digitalization in the scope of Aton exchange. I mean uh, uh, data exchange between uh, uh, Aton office and hydrographic office, which is a show to show service which is, is kind of uh, uh, data format about uh, show to show, required for show to show service. Yeah, this is contents. Uh, this is background. Um, as you know well, uh, Aton, Aton is one of uh, essential, Aton information <laughs> is essential for marine navigation. So if you look into the uh, notice mariner, uh, the ATO information is a majority of notice mariner. So I think um, uh, ATO information is uh, important and core in nautical chart and notice mariner and for our set navigation. And despite uh, many needs, uh, there was no ATO standard in IALA. So IALA tried to develop ATO information standard uh, from early 2010. So IRA started to develop the standard using the S100 framework and approved that uh, edition one in 2019. So the IRA council approved the edition one and the ARM committee meeting improving the uh, uh, ATON standard because that is uh, uh, the purpose for testing so the group improving the ATON standard. So in this slide, um, I, uh, the, this is a, a use case for exchanging ATON data between a relevant uh, organization. So within ATON domain, uh, uh, there are need to exchange ATON information between uh, ATON monitoring system and information system also uh, there are some scenario about uh, on that uh, between uh, regional office and central office. So this is scenario of uh, within Aton domain. And in addition to that, um, the uh, between Aton office and hardware office, uh, there are many exchange about Aton data. But at, at the moment, we are. Uh, distribute ATON changes, ATON information by paper, not digital. So, uh, in order to overcome the any the the, the challenge, the ILA develop ATON information standard. So, um, the in order to develop the standard, uh, some special task group was organized under the working group two of ARM committee. The group was tasked, tasked to develop and update uh, the standard. So uh, the, because this is about this standard, including all information about ATON, so the, uh, the, the buoy and right house and right and the tone mark and so, uh, so uh, beacon, radar, raycon, <laughs> all kind of ATON is included in the standard. So the group developed the version one uh, based on the initial requirement from ILR members and the um, data model regarding the data model is from the uh, S57 ENC uh, product specification. And the group aimed to uh, develop and draft the new version. The version is 1.1.0. So the group will sub submit uh, this new version to the next ARM meeting. Uh, maybe in the future, uh, the edition 2.0.0 will be uh, improved according to the S101 ENC ATON data model. This is the overview of data model. So as I mentioned, uh, the basically ATON model uh, consists of structure and equipment. There are many kind of structure and equipment in the ATON data model. And the uh, latest, the uh, last year and this year ARM meeting, we uh, add 
uh, more feature type like uh, the, the structure, buoy, and mooring information, which is, uh, uh, which is for maintenance and manning purpose. So this is an uh, overview of package of 201 standard product specification. Though there are uh, main document and there are other uh, component. Uh, this component uh, is very useful for software developer to, 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 to develop any kind of software or any uh, create 201 8 data set. So uh, the after appro approval of 201 version 1, so the, the, the group and IOLA members uh, uh, the cooperate with the, uh, for testing, testing 201 uh, product specification. So for example, so the United, United Kingdom provides um, encoding tool, web-based encoding tool. So uh, from the uh, product specification, the uh, test data set is important to understand and implement the uh, product specification. So this is uh, encoding tool of supporting the tool on uh, data. And this is uh, an other tool to test the uh, tool on test data set which is, is, is similar with uh, digital resource life, but um, this tool enabled uh, testing and checking the uh, detailed attribute of a tool on data set. This is another uh, the platform to cooperate with uh, ILA members, uh, this, which is a web-based tool on test bed. So uh, through this uh, web-based test bed, the ILA members uh, exchange or share their test data set on 2 data. So uh, in, I will present the, uh, the Korean uh, the activity on 2 uh, uh, development. So Korea uh, the head of, uh, set up a plan to, to, to apply 201 standard and we uh, decided to make new system to manage uh, ATON information. So uh, the detailed information is different depending on the ILA member, national member. So uh, we, we, we are focusing on the, uh, we specify detailed ATON information according to 201 data model. So the, yeah, so uh, we uh, the, the make a design on on ATON system based on 201 model. So um, the, this is our internal detail model. Some part is from the uh, 201 model and some part is, is from our model. So this new system supports uh, issuing a 201 data set and also support our maintenance purpose. This is example of right house information, detail information. So another important thing is MRN. So ATON consists of many, many parts, many information. So we are managing uh, huge information for managing ATON system. So uh, I think uh, the unique identifier is important to manage and issue uh, the tool on data, uh, the service data. So as you know well, uh, IALA uh, the developed the MRN guideline. So according to the uh, IALA MRN guideline, we, def we define the, uh, the MRN syntax for our own uh, ATON resource. So this is an uh, example how, how we uh, define MRN uh, syntax, MRN number to manage our uh, ATON information. So for the uh, maintenance operation, we applied uh, MRN concept to, the, to every process and every information. So this is a new uh, interface for our ATOM management system. So from this system, we can produce 201 data and we can support any requirement for the marine digitalization. This is our plan. So we are developing the uh, ATON Information Service Center. So we are gathering the, the ATON status, real-time ATON status information from the ATON system 
and the uh, main information center gathering all, all information. And we are, uh, we are doing the uh, quality assurance for the database. And also we are considering the MCP to provide uh, eight to more time data. And the right side is uh, expected recipient uh, receiving system, but I think we need, to discuss, we need to discuss about the interface and process, how to apply the ATON data to the end user system. So um, from the, uh, our new ATON management system, uh, the, uh, uh, the ATON office start to discuss with HydroCap office. So uh, you know, from, from analog data to digital data. So we, uh, every week we issue two on data and the transfer to the HydroCap office by two on uh, standardized data set. So we discuss with uh, HydroCap office and we will testing the two on and the process on exchanging ATON data set between two uh, Two, organization, two offices. So uh, this is data flow of ATON, ATON related data. So uh, last week we had joint workshop uh, between ILA and IHO in Oles, Norway. So this diagram, data flow is very new, very fresh one. And the, uh, eight, from the ATON uh, information, we can expect many uh, maritime services such as uh, uh, 201 and 124 and 125. So the, in the uh, uh, joint workshop, we agreed on the further discussion and we will uh, develop relevant uh, the uh, guideline or standard. So this is summary. So I'll approve 201 edition one in 2019. So based on the 201, so we are developing the uh, ATON data service, which is the, uh, which is uh, public, public facing data standard. So we are developing this S1 to 4, 1 to 5 from the 201. And some national members of IALA are transitioning their ATON information system that can issue 201 ATON data. So this kind, this kind of activity will be the backbone to provide ATON data exchange and public facing ATON data service. And uh, marine data standard and maritime service for public facing data have been developed for a long time. And as, as uh, Chair mentions S100 and Young mentions uh, S100 Actis will be implemented from 2016 optionally and from 2019 mandatory. So in order to enable a public facing maritime data service, data exchange between show organization should be digitally digitalized and standardized. So production management and exchange of marine data in show office should be harmonized and organized. So it's recommended to raise interest in maritime data digitalization and standardization for show to show use case and to start discussion on how to proceed. Thank you.